back to my channel today we are going to go over how to create a virtual environment in python so what is a virtual environment in python a virtual environment in python is like a sub area within the normal global python environment whereby we can install packages and these packages can only be used by files that are within that environment so for example in which cases or scenarios can you use a virtual environment let's say that you have uh, an application let's say a flask application and you have an older version and a new version the older version uses flask maybe 2.5 and the new one version uses flask 2.6 maybe so in in upgrading to flask 2.6 if you install it in a global environment in python your older website built in python will start using the newer version of python 2.6 that you have installed this may lead to some breakups since uh, some updates methods which you have used in the older version have been updated this may lead to your program not to work properly so to prevent this we separate or create environments within the python main environment whereby you can install specific packages that will be used by specific files only so it's like a virtual space within the global python environment where you can install packages and these packages will only be used by certain files so let's go over so i'll just control control alt and t to open terminal on ubuntu so i'll bring the term my terminal over here um so you can begin so to first to create this we need to create a project file where our python project is going to be whereby the files that are going to be using this virtual environment will be stored so let's just make i'm in ubuntu right now so i'll change directory to my desktop my desktop sorry so desktop and then i have one file here which is coding which is this one over here so i'll make another directory make the so make draw will make for your directory in linux if you in case you don't know linux commands please watch the video that i'll post about linux command and how to use them the basics of linux command so we just make let's continue over here we just make our directory let's call it project so i'll hit enter i can see we have a project directory on my desktop over here so i'll change my my root directory i'll change my path to project so I'm um, in there, you can see we have no files inside there because we didn't create any. So to create a virtual environment, this virtual environment will actually create a directory within our project directory. So we just to do this, we can just say, I'm using Python 3, so I'll go Python 3 dash M, M stands for make, and then VNV, virtual environment, and then the name of the virtual environment. In this case, I'll call my, my underscore VNV vnv so my my vnv is the name of the virtual environment so the syntax is the python version you're using dash m the vnv and then name of the virtual environment so hit enter this will take a while it will create for me the virtual environment you can see it's already done so if i'm ls i can see here we have the directory called as my my vnv now there's no need to open this directory but in case you, you are curious we can just see what is inside so this is what is inside there's really nothing we don't usually come into our virtual environments it's usually we don't do that but in case you can exploit in your own time so let's continue over here so <coughs> after i've created the virtual environment i need to activate it to activate it just type in the following command so source space and then the name of the virtual environment which is my venv and then forward slash in bin forward slash activate and then you hit enter so you can see now we are in our virtual environment why can we notice this we can see that at the beginning we have our our virtual environment in closing parentheses before our normal our normal directory begins over here so you can see there's a two different between this line this shows that we are in our virtual environment so in our virtual environment that's where we can install different packages so to install packages it's just as usual using pip i'm using pip3 install i will just install the request library for demonstration 
uh, install request so it takes some time it's collecting request so this request library will only be accessible within my virtual environment which I've just created right now so it will only be accessible over there so you can see uh, it says I've already installed it okay you can just go pip pip3 and then list list to show all the packages that you have installed within this virtual environment you can see here I have already installed a request over here so in my virtual environment I can see I've already installed the request library so um, why one one advantage of using um, virtual environments is that in case you upload your projects to maybe github or other places other people they may not know the packages that you have installed so you can create a file that will show all the packages you have installed so that other people can install them and just use your applications just by downloading so you can just do, do that say pip3 and then go freeze freeze is the same as pip list so if i run this you can see you get the same results okay so go pip freeze and then we want to store this into a text file so we just call it requirement dot txt okay so we'll take all of this all of this output and then we'll store it inside request dot txt again if you don't know linux commands check out my video on linux commands i hope it helps you so i'll just hit enter over here so now if i go ls we can see we have requirements dot txt so i'll just use nano this is the terminal text editor in ubuntu i'll go requirements require requirements i think i have made a spelling mistake over there that's txt so just hit enter so we can see that we have everything all the packages that we've installed including the the recent which have installed request in our 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 requirements for txt so we can also use this requirements to txt to install other extensions so to do this we just say pip 3 dash r pip install dash r and then requirements dot txt so just hit enter it, so it will go through all the requirements all the all the um, let me just show you nano and then the requirements okay so if i hit this way to go and install each and every package in there instead of us doing it manually it's going pip install request install this install this by writing this command over here this command it will automatically loop through every line within the requirements of txt and install those packages for us so you can see here it's saying all the requirements have been satisfied okay but this in this case our case this is not useful but it will be useful to other people who want to use our application they want to install the exact libraries that we did so this is uh, virtual how to work with virtual environment so to to deactivate our virtual environment to move back to our normal our normal directory so you just to deactivate so to say deac deactivate okay this you can see that we are we are back to our normal directory path so this is how we work with uh, virtual environments and uh, always create virtual environments for the your project your python projects they are really really good practice and save you a ton of time instead of going through your code and trying to find the section the the libraries that you have installed and their versions this really really bad so just use virtual environments to save time some text editors like PyCharm they will create for your virtual environment at the point of creating your project but this is how you do it in case you are using maybe visual studio code like i am so thanks for watching i hope this video is helpful to you so please don't forget to like to and subscribe to my channel in case you find this video helpful give it a like and share with the video thanks for watching